Welcome to Take Your Clothing, and today is my list of Carhartt's top five beanies. Today, I'm gonna to show you some of my favorite Carhartt beanies, or what I affectionately refer to them as Carhartt's top five head warming items. Now, before you go skipping through the video looking for this puppy, just know that it made it in there. But it actually took fifth. I didn't buy any of these thinking that they would be more enjoyable than the acrylic watch hat because the acrylic watch hat is so popular. So why would people buy something that's not as good for the same price of something better? I don't know. I actually thought it was going to win. But honestly, after getting each of them in my hands and using them, I have to say that it does deserve fifth. So to kick this video off, let's start off with the famous acrylic watch hat. The timeless watch hat made of soft, warm acrylic yarn born in 1987 as the A18 watch hat, it quickly rose as an icon. It was originally designed as a workwear essential, but it can now be found at construction sites, campgrounds, state fairs, football stadiums, you name it. Thick acrylic yarn makes this hat a warm option for colder months. It's soft to the touch, stretchy ribnet creates a stay put fit, and it's all 100% acrylic ribnet. Now the look of this beanie, which makes it stand out the most, is actually what got it fifth place. The fold up cuff with a Carhartt patch is what actually makes this beanie not that versatile. If you want the tag showing, that's great. But if you want to go slouch or roll it down for a little more warmth, you're either going to show seam or you're going to get the tag itching your forehead. It's a great warm option, but it's just not that versatile. Up for number four is the fleece two-in-one beanie. Now what makes this beanie unique is the two-in-one pull-down face mask. It can be worn with the mask tucked up inside the hat or as a hat and mask for maximum warmth and protection. The hat is 100% polyester and the mask is 90% polyester with a 10% spandex blend. Carhartt put their fast dry technology in this which wicks away sweat and fights odors and that is critical when you're breathing in the fabric all day. We know that. Don't let the funk exist. Honestly, if you can get past the fact you look like a dad or like you're wearing a 1940s football helmet, this is actually pretty great. I seriously like it more every time I put it on. I've got a big head. I'm usually to the last two snaps of my snapback hat type of big. This was a little tight for me, but the more I use it, the more it seemed to loosen up. I definitely can't tuck the mask up in the hat comfortably. And honestly, if you don't need the mask, this isn't the right beanie for you. There are plenty of better looking options that exist out there that are just as good as this one is for warmth. Coming in at number three, the Woodside hat. This beanie is a 100% acrylic waffle knit fabric. It uses Thinsulate and it has 40 grams of insulation for warmth. And it's got an itty bitty Carhartt patch right on the rim that you can fold up and wrap. Now, obviously, when you look at this beanie, you may be asking yourself, why did this one beat the Carhartt acrylic watch hat? It looks just like that one with a little bit of a different knit pattern. Before I bought it, I would have agreed with you, but since I've had it in my hands and I've used it, it's noticeably warmer. Now, it could be because the knit pattern might bulk it up or they might have potentially used a little bit more fabric with this one, but either way, it is visibly thicker than the acrylic watch hat. Plus, if you don't like to look mainstream and buy the same acrylic watch hat that everyone else has purchased, this is a great second option. Coming in at number two is the ear flap cap. Now this one I'm especially fond of because it uses Carhartt's cotton blood canvas and the internal is 100% polyester insulation. They use fast dry technology that wicks away sweat for comfort, but this hat is structured for a medium profile cap size fit, either medium large or large XL. Now, I definitely push the limits on this one for the large XL. I'm definitely on the XL side. How big is my head? 23 and a half inches. So if you've got a big dome like me, large, extra large, just know that it does fit, it is snug. But depending on how you wear it, you might find that it still works for you. I would say that if you are a 24 inches and larger head size, this is not something you should bank on. This is not, I mean, you're double XL. You're not gonna, it's not gonna work. 
Now, one of the cool parts about this hat is that the ear caps actually flip up inside or outside the hat. If you like to look trendy in the ear cap flap hat club, flip them up outside. It looks almost like a normal cap, but you throw this thing into its ear cap flap mode, bam, all of a sudden, you're hitting your strides in your fashion game. Now, much like the two-in-one I talked about earlier, if you can get past the looks, then you're definitely going to really love this hat. First thing I noticed when I got it was that it was made out of duck cloth, the same material that they use to make their famous jackets. That means you can bank on this thing lasting you a super long time. I got the large, extra large version, and it does fit a little snug. We've already established that. I've got a big head, so I can deal. One of the nice things about the ear flaps is that it makes you feel like this hat is actually fitting way better than your normal cap. But if this hat is tighter for you like it is for me, then outside the cap it goes. Like, like so. And really, you know, it works. <laughs> I like it, I, I, like, I like it. I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on it, I actually really like wearing this. If this hat is tighter for you like this one is for me, you can fold them up and put them on the inside and basically get away with this almost looking like a normal hat. Almost. Almost. <laughs> now coming in at number one is the Carhartt Force Helmet Liner Mask. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is a helmet liner, not a beanie. Hold on, let me explain. On the jobs or on the slopes, this men's liner mask keeps your face warm and protected in frigid temperatures. That's true, I tested it. It's made of a lightweight polyester spandex blend that wicks away sweat. The fleeced interior and flat seams provide all day comfort when worn alone and under a helmet. Again, that's true, I tested it. Well, I didn't test it under a helmet, but I actually tested it under a ball cap because that's what I like to wear. It's a poly spandex blend. It's fleece lined for warmth. It's built with the Carhartt Force technology to wick away sweat and dry fast using the Fast Dry Tech. And it has full facial protection that extends below the neckline. This was actually a really critical piece at why this made it to number one. This is much like the fleece two-in-one, but it does it better basically almost every way. Now, functionally, the face mask pulls down below the chin when it's not needed, that's nice. They use flat lock seams for a smooth fill so you don't get seams pressing into your head when wearing a ball cap or helmet or whatever. And it has a stereotypical Carhartt branding patch right in the dead center of your forehead. But if you watch any of my videos, you know how I feel about versatile products. And this, by far, is the most versatile beanie on this list. This hat is much like the two-in-one that I covered earlier for most use cases, but it improves on it almost every way. Right out of the gate, this is something that I could wear all day and all night. I tested that. It's the thinnest option on my list, but it will layer with just about anything that you have better than anything else on my list. The way that I can pull this mask down below my chin and how comfortable it feels is actually one of my favorite parts about this beanie. Comfortably for me, I can pull it back up to just below my mouth with no obvious tension, but to bring it up over my nose like I'm sure it was intended to be worn, it does feel a little bit tight. Because it's comfortable and slim, it fits perfectly into what I like to wear when I camp at night. If you've never slept with a thin beanie while camping that covers your neck like this one does, please try it out on a cold night. You will thank me later, I promise. There are so many small things that you can add to your gear bag that will make being outside just as enjoyable as sleeping at home in your bed. And if you don't believe me, it's because you haven't done the research Go do it! What did I learn from all this? I learned that Carhartt actually has a much deeper selection of reasonably priced rugged outerwear. I was pleasantly surprised to find that there were still other good options for beanies on their site, even though I originally went to their site figuring that there was not actually going to be that much of a selection. These were my top five head warming items from Carhartt, but the list really doesn't end there. Like always, I'm a huge advocate for getting out and spending time in the great outdoors, and what you need to know is that there's always a product out there that will make your experience hiking, sleeping, traveling, doing whatever in nature way better than you think. When I learned that there are products out there that can make me comfortable in harsh environments, it changed how I viewed the outdoors because my perspective shifted to knowing that I could be comfortable all the time. There's a lot of great products out there 
So if anything on my list interests you, like always, I put it in the description below, but go out and do your research and find what's going to be right for you. This is Tech Your Clothing, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <laughs> How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, I know what I'm doing. Also time. That's not, <laughs> that's not making it in the video. Helmet la last minor. Matt, helmet, mask, helmet, liner, mask. <laughs> Jeez.